Yes, kittens can eat a raw diet as long as you transition to it slowly. And the sooner you start the transition, the better it will be, the easier it will be for you. Your kitten won't develop those picky eating habits. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and the first raw kitten food that we'll review is called Kiwi Kitchens. This video is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links in the description below. So this food is actually appropriate for all life stages, which means adult cats and kittens can eat this food. I personally think that the venison product is the best. So so we'll scroll down to venison. So venison dinner, that's the product name. That means there's going to be between 25 and 94.9% venison in this product. We look at the ingredients, we see venison, venison lung, venison liver, New Zealand green mussels, egg. So that's great. A lot of different protein sources. We have muscle meat, venison, and venison lung, secreting organ, venison liver, New Zealand green mussels, and egg. And then we have kelp. Kelp is good for a lot of trace minerals, and it can also help keep tartar off of your cat's teeth, which is great for kittens because you want to make sure you're taking care of your cat's dental health way in the beginning before problems happen. Another pro here is that this raw cat food is 0% carbs, which is great. Another pro is that this is available inside and outside the U.S. So there's a where to shop link in the description. You can just locate their online stores in the U.S. and outside the U.S. Another pro here is that they have a lot of variety. So they have chicken, venison, lamb, and beef. Variety is absolutely key. Of course, when you're introducing new foods, you want to focus on one change at, per month, one change at a time. But in, in the long run, you want to have multiple protein sources. Let me know in the comments below how many proteins your cat eats. Jericho eats four right now, plus his treats. So a con here I would say is that it says fish oil. That's not very specific. Ideally, you would want to see salmon oil, sardine oil, Manhattan fish oil, something that's specific. They're telling you the type of fish. This one, they're just saying fish oil. So you, you have to have a question of like, oh, they, do, they don't know what kind of fish they're using. That's one of the cons. Another con here is that they have a decent amount of synthetic nutrients added here. So it could be because there's no bone included, there's no heart included, there's only one secreting organ. So these nutrients are necessary to make sure that the food is complete and balanced. The next raw kitten food we'll review is called Steve's Raw Food. And this brand is called Quest, but it's made by Steve. Steve Brown is a pet food formulator. So this one is also suitable for adults and kids. Kittens says that it uh, meets the needs of set by AFCO for all life stages. All life stages means seniors, adults, and kittens. So pros here, when we look at the ingredients, we have chicken, chicken liver, chicken heart, chicken necks. So that's great. We have chicken and chicken heart. Those are muscle meats. Chicken necks, which would provide more meat and also bones, and chicken liver, which is a secreting organ. And there's raw goat milk. That's a great source of probiotics and digestive enzymes. Black seed, maybe to add a little bit of fiber and omega fatty acids and kelp, again, great source of nutrients. Salmon oil, you see here, he's specific. He says salmon oil instead of just saying fish oil. And we have taurine, inulin, that's a prebiotic fiber, organic coconut oil, chia seeds, sesame seeds, and eggshell membrane. So here you notice that there's no synthetic nutrients. They add taurine, but that's pretty much it. The rest of the food relies on whole fresh food sources. And it also says that this chicken is made from cage-free, free-range, and antibiotic-free meats. So that's going to affect the nutrient profile as well. That's going to warrant a better nutrient profile because it's a more natural diet. Another pro here is that it's in bite-sized nuggets. So that's going to be easy to thaw and portion and serve, especially when you're transitioning because it's very small little pieces. Now a con here is that it's only available in the U.S. Another con here is that when you use the guaranteed analysis numbers to get an approximate carb amount on a dry matter basis, it's a bit high. It's 19%, still significantly lower than dry food and most canned foods, but it's probably coming from the flaxseed, kelp, and maybe the chia seeds. But again, these are natural foods. So you'll have to decide, do you prefer all natural foods, you know, like fresh food sources of nutrients, but maybe the carbs are slightly higher? Or do you prefer no carbs and a bunch of man-made synthetic nutrients? So you have to decide which one you prefer. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so that more kitten parents like you can see this video. Thank you very much. The next raw kitten food that we'll review is called small batch. And we're going to look at their turkey sliders. So this is frozen raw food as well. And this one is also formulated to be completely balanced for all life stages. So when we look at the ingredients, we have turkey, turkey nets, turkey livers, turkey hearts, turkey gizzards. That's a lot of different meat ingredients. So that's more than the previous two that we looked at. So turkey, turkey hearts, turkey gizzards, those are all muscle meats. And then turkey necks would provide a little bit more meat with some bone. And then turkey liver, again, is a secreting organ. Salmon oil, instead of saying fish oil, they tell 
value salmon oil. And then we have some organic produce. You can see here it says 97% meat and 1% organic produce, 2% natural supplements. So I actually like that they put uh, organic bee pollen. I recently just discovered the magical <laughs> healing properties of bees. So I started using bee propolis and CBD for Jericho. And I also take propolis. I had a sore throat. Like, you know, when you get a little bit of pain in the back of your throat, you can feel it coming. I just took the propolis and dripped it straight, straight on my throat. And this is the soreness went away in two days. It's amazing. Another pro here is 0% carbs. Again, you would use the guaranteed analysis to get those numbers. But a con here would be that it's only available in the US. So if you live outside the US, unfortunately, this brand doesn't work for you. The next raw kitten food that we'll review is called Instinct. Now, this one is specifically for kittens. So if you find that your kitten light really likes this brand and you want to continue feeding it when your kitten is an adult, they have a separate product that's labeled adult. So for this one, it says cage-free chicken recipe. That word recipe means between 25 and 94.9% chicken. And when we scroll down to the ingredients, we have chicken, including ground chicken bone, beef liver, beef spleen, beef kidney, and cod. So this one has more secreting organs than the previous brands that we looked at. Uh, we have liver, spleen, and kidney, but it doesn't include heart or another muscle meat, just has the chicken with the ground bone. But that's still great that it has muscle meat, bones, and multiple secreting organs. That variety is very, very good. And we also have cod and salmon oil. So again, they're being very specific. Instead of just saying fish meal or fish oil, they tell you cod and salmon oil. So very specific ingredients. That's what you want to see. Another pro here is that this is available in the US and also in Canadian online stores. So again, those links in the description have the where to buy. So you would just shop by your zip code or the online store that, that works for you. They have some things like carrots, apples, butternut squash, blueberries, spinach. You know, again, you're going to have these, these natural fresh foods that can provide some vitamins and trace minerals, but then they still add a few different um, synthetic nutrients. So you have a little bit of both there. Some cons here might be this clay. They use that as an anti-caking agent. So it's necessary in food production, but not necessary for your kitten's diet. And potentially another con here is if you're looking for adult raw food, this specific product doesn't work for you. It's kittens only. But as I mentioned before, there is a product that Instinct has frozen raw for adults. The packaging will say adult. And then as I mentioned before, the synthetic nutrient. And then if you scroll down under the guaranteed analysis, there's a uh, full diet information there. So you can zoom in and see all of the different nutrients that they have. And the calorie distribution for carbs is about 14%. So again, you know, it's a little bit more than ideal, which ideally would be less than 10%. But I personally think that this product is still really great because it has multiple secreting organs. There's a lot of meat ingredients and those natural foods like apples, butternut squash, spinach, blueberries, you know, maybe those are contributing to some carbs and fiber that might not necessarily be in the cat's natural diet. But again, these are at least these are natural foods rather than a list of 62 synthetic nutrients. And you can check out this playlist right over Meow to get your kids started on a raw food diet. Thanks for watching.